I talk a lot about boutique labels on this channel because I genuinely have a lot of fun and excitement about these movies. And one of the most exciting companies um, that I really like are Second Sight Films. I really feel that they are releasing special movies in ultimate editions, the kind of things that probably will never be bettered. I find it really hard to imagine them being bettered at any point. And these kind of films uh, don't come thick and fast. They're kind of sparing with their releases, but every release is stunning to experience. And they're becoming the most exciting uh, company for watching what they're going to release. With their newest announcement, they just kind of took the feet from under me by announcing The Hitcher, one of my favourite movies of the 80s. I love that Eric Red written um, Rudger Hauer starring C. Thomas Howell, oh, just Jennifer Jason Lee. It's just it's a great movie and I love it. And to see them come out and just being so great in social media, which is something that they do exceptionally well. They announced it. They said that they wanted to do it in 4K, but unfortunately the materials weren't there. The next day, um, they announced again that people from all different companies and just fans of the movie have been in contact and they now have several avenues to chase down. And if they possibly can, they will give it the 4K treatment, which, fingers crossed, I really want that. Second Sight Films are a company that I stumbled across a long while ago. The first ever special edition I picked up from them was the 40th anniversary of Assault on Precinct 13 and I love it. It's a great edition and it was only a kind of hint of the things to come. The next one I picked up from them was the Willard and Ben set which was another great release and one that's often sought after. But just looking at the releases that they have out some of the things that they have released have been outstanding releases. Now, I don't get everything. I would love to because I think there's a great sense of love and care taken with their releases. And I just find that they're exciting because they don't pigeonhole themselves into similar things that other boutiques have done. They're not numbered. Um, some of the titles, they aren't uniform. The extras that come with them can be wildly different and varied. Um, and it can just be exceptional stuff from uh, genre horror to art house foreign movies to amicus style horror to uh, sort of modern day uh, um, drama pieces like Take Shelter, those kind of things. And the releases are always, always outstanding. And I love them for that. Um, and... Uh, it's just one of these companies where I've got so many of their titles and I just love each and every one of them. If it wasn't from them, I wouldn't have discovered Fassbender's World on a Wire, a two-part uh, kind of mini-movie for TV um, that just blew me away. It was utterly wonderful. Their um, release of Extra was outstanding four cuts of the movie. It didn't need that kind of treatment, but I loved that they went that kind of mileage to do it. Uh, when a Stranger Calls was a movie that I had wanted to see for a while and I eagerly pre-ordered it and then just, you know, just because they threw in the Made For TV sequel which was just as great as well as an additional extra. That's the kind of company we're talking about. That's the kind of boutique company that feel as if they go above and beyond. They released Asylum and The House That Dripped Blood which was great. They released The Changeling, which was a wonderful horror. They jumped into an old 80s favourite for me with Flight of the Navigator, which was just amazing. I loved the In Bruges disc because it came with the screenplay. When I uh, was into movies in the mid-90s, I loved screenplays. They were something that I devoured and it's something that kind of gets lost a little bit. I've forgotten about. And that included with the In Bruges disc just made it essential. Then we got The Amazing Mr. Blunden, a late 70s family-friendly movie that I'd never heard of, but I now utterly love and become a yearly watch for me. It's that good a movie. And it came with the book um, that the, uh, the movie was based on. And they did other things as well. You know, they did Revenge, they did Man with the X-ray Eyes, they did Under the Shadow, uh, which was a great uh, horror movie itself. Then came Walkabout which was just utterly wonderful. Book, um, screenplay, 
extras, a stunning transfer of the movie. It was amazing. And you start to think that things can't get any better when they announced the 4K release of Dawn of the Dead creating, which was, in my opinion, the best release of last year. Untold extras, you got three cuts of the movie, you got a disc of extras, you got soundtracks, books, um, all different kind of things in a wonderful package. And I think it was many people's best disc of the year last year. Just utterly packed. And to know that there are things like The Hitcher, they've hinted at the craze, they have very uh, strongly said that Martin is coming in 4K soon this year. That makes them truly an exciting prospect and something that I can wholeheartedly get behind. Uh, Host was one of my favourite movies of last year. A little uh, 55 minute horror movie released on Shudder and they gave it an amazing package that I, I am so happy to have in my collection. Raw just came out and it's one that I'm going to have to get at some point. I loved that movie in the cinema and I've just, I've not picked it up as yet, but their next two releases that they have announced, which is Lake Mungo, which I've heard wonderful things about. I can't wait to get my hands on that. I'm excited. And The Babadook, a 4K disc of The Babadook, which is exciting. I mean, just look at the titles. It's a handful each year, but they're all quality. And I don't think any other boutique label can say that they, they have a similar kind of reach, you know, where all their movies are, are, are broadly accepted as, as great films and have each one has love and care put into it to the extent where it shows. You know, you look at other movie, uh, boutique movie companies and they release a lot more titles and they're a little bit scattershot hitting certain markets, whereas I believe Second Sight films are truly just becoming the benchmark of releases that I just utterly adore. So I just want to know, are you on the Second Sight Films train? If not, why not? Do you have any of their limited editions? I would love to know what your favourite release is, or two, uh, three maybe, whatever ones you have. Are you going to be getting Late Mungo or The Babadook? I'm eagerly excited for both The Hitcher, which I hope they get in 4K, and Martin. I kind of wish I did have all of their limited editions because they're just so awesome. I do have a, a video where I list all of my Second Sight films up to a certain point, which I'm going to link to um, in, in the description of this movie where you can check it out. But I'd love to know your thoughts on Second Sight. Let me know in the comment box and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.